You know, most of us have multiple notebooks and notes and books and things like that in front of us. Can you hold up what you've been referring to and answering our questions? Is there anything on it? Uh, that letterhead that says United States Senate. We all watched the hearings for Justice Kavanaugh. I hope we don't take that path with Judge Barrett. It was a freak show. What our colleagues on the other side of the aisle put Justice Kavanaugh through two years ago was an absolute disgrace. Spent $5 million opposing Justice Brett Kavanaugh. I thought Gorsuch and Kavanaugh were qualified. It looked like the, 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 the cantina bar scene out of Star Wars. And I saw it all as chairman of this committee when Kavanaugh came up. Kavanaugh and Brett Kavanaugh and Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh. Not once, but twice. You use the term sexual preference. And let me make clear, sexual preference is an offensive and outdated term. Rebuild the backbone of this country, the middle class, but this time bring everybody along, regardless of color, sexual preference, their backgrounds. Every American must understand that with this nomination, equal justice under law is at stake. Our voting rights are at stake. This isn't a rush to justice. This is a rush to put in a justice. Workers' rights are at stake. I would be afraid to ask her about the presence of gravity on Earth. She may decline to answer. Consumer rights are at stake. Nothing about this today is normal. The right to a safe and legal abortion is at stake. Having a rushed Supreme Court nomination hearing is not normal. I do believe this hearing is a clear attempt to jam through a Supreme Court nominee who will take health care away from millions of people during a deadly pandemic that has already killed more than 214,000 Americans. The Supreme, this Supreme Court nominee has signaled in the judicial equivalent of all caps that she believes the Affordable Care Act must go and that the president precedent Protecting the ACA doesn't matter. And um, do you accept that COVID-19 is infectious? Um, I, I think, yes, I do accept that COVID-19 is infectious, that that's something of which I feel like, you know, we could say you take judicial notice of. It's an obvious fact, yes. Do you accept that smoking causes cancer? I'm not sure exactly where you're going with this, but, you know, the, the notice that it's smoking just causes... It's a question. The question is what it is. You can answer it if you believe um, it. Yes or no. <laughs> Senator Harris, yes, every package of cigarettes warns that smoking causes cancer. And do you believe that climate change is happening and is threatening um, the air we breathe and the water we drink? Um, Senator, again, I was wondering where you were going with that. Um, you have asked me a series of questions like that are completely uncontroversial, like whether <coughs> COVID-19 is infectious, whether smoking causes cancer, and then trying to analogize that to eliciting an opinion on me that is a very contentious matter, opinion from me, that is on a very contentious matter of public debate. And I will not do that. I will not express a view on a matter of public policy, especially one that is politically controversial, because that's inconsistent with the judicial role, as I have explained. Thank you. Thank you.